about shifting gears, you saw this article a few days ago on Infowars.com. Homeland Security is now regulating live entertainment. DHS demands restaurant owner get permit to play live music. Uh, that is the type of stuff we're dealing with. Well, now we're going to be talking about this evil creature right here. Yes, that is a white uh, bunny rabbit with brown and black ears. And we have the uh, the owner or the papa uh, of the uh, cute little little creature joining us today. And we were setting him up last week for the show. Didn't know this big announcement would come today. USDA holds off on disaster plan required for animal exhibitors. This is the Washington Post uh, out with that news. And, of course, uh, Marty Hahn, uh, Marty the Magician, uh, his website is martythemagician.com. Uh, he is there in Missouri and uh, he spoke out against this, so they're backing off from now. Uh, the same group tried to come out and say that kids couldn't do uh, farm chores or even house chores if they had their way. So Obama administration requires magician to submit 32-page disaster plan for his rabbit. And Marty, uh, thanks for coming on the broadcast today to tell people about uh, the federal government that won't control our borders and funds Al Qaeda, but uh, they do have, they are keeping track of you and your rabbit. So uh, th thank goodness the federal government is uh, regulating magicians now. Tell us about that, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm glad to know they have their priorities set. <laughs> well, the rabbit could be, could be, could be, I have a bomb. I mean, maybe. That's right. Yes, I, I now have the safest rabbit in America thanks to my 30 page disaster plan. Does TSA let you take your hat on board the plane, or, they, or, or do they believe you can just make things like guns disappear uh, out of it? Uh, it's funny, uh, when they open my bags, they have so many strange things. Uh, they, they recently took out a, uh, a yellow and red plastic squeaking device because that squeaker they thought might scare somebody. Oh, oh, so they took that. Well, good. See, I, I knew there'd be something evil there. Everything's terrorism but terrorist. I, That's right. Yeah, everything's bad but the bad people. Trust the, the government, not the people. Uh, well, tell us about uh, the magic show you do, the name of this rabbit, and uh, what happened. Yes, I've been a full-time magician for about 27 years, and, and I've used rabbits uh, oh, for 30 years probably. Of course, that's a classic thing in a magic show to make a live bunny rabbit appear, and, and my wife was a good farm girl, and so 30 years ago she talked me into getting a rabbit into our magic act. And For the first 22 years, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, and kids just get knocked out by the rabbit. It's always a great memory for them. And, and then back in 2005, I was rudely informed during a magic show uh, by a surprise inspector that I needed a license for my rabbit. Absolutely, land of the free, home of the brave, and, and, and now tell us where the saga has gone. Yes, yeah, so it went so it went from 2005 needing a license for my rabbit and paying licensing fees and taking my rabbit to the vet, uh, faxing my travel itinerary to the USDA if I'm going to be out of town for more than 48 hours, and also thing I especially enjoy is, is surprise inspections of my home whenever they like to check on the rabbit. Uh, so that's, I've been jumping through those hoops since about 2005. Maybe if we said the illegal aliens were rabbits, the government would do something about them then. That's right, yes. But uh, So those requirements were bad enough, and then finally about a month ago, the latest requirement they decided to add was that I needed to have a written disaster plan in place for my bunny rabbit. Well, I think the answer is don't comply with any of this like everybody else. I mean, I think the answer is it's all unconstitutional. Don't do it. Uh, I've got the Census Bureau now yearly t telling me to answer hundreds of right. questions, and I just told them that it's called the Fifth Amendment, and they can go jump in the lake. Yes, and you know, uh, and if I had to do it over again back in 2005, that's what I would have done. I, they, they intimidate you, they catch you off balance, and, and they, I mean, I was had finished my magic show and I was trying to sign autographs. I had little children shaking my hands, moms taking pictures of me with their kids, just having a nice meet and greet session. And could the inspector wait five minutes? No. She barged through the crowd and in front of everyone whipped out a badge and threw it in my face. Oh, yeah. It's all about the exercise of power. And they want to pick the most non-threatening, non-criminal people mm -hmm. because they don't want to go after real criminals. I mean, you know, the big banks are getting all that laundered money. They don't want to mess with that. That's right. And, uh, and, you know, and I've never forgotten uh, how that made me feel at that, that show and the embarrassment and, and the, you know, the problems it, it caused me. I was working uh, for a series of libraries all across the state of Missouri and, and through email from one librarian, the word spread that Marty Hahn might cause a problem if he's at your show. And, 
You know, so I really had to do quite a bit of damage that that caused. Oh, so they tried to destroy your career as well. Well, you deserve it. You're an evil guy doing magic tricks for kids. I mean, folks, everybody knows that this is a danger to our homeland. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Marty Hahn, ladies and gentlemen, the evil magician in Missouri with a woman with a badge. I mean, now you'll be out fishing on a pier. It's happened to me. And they'll have a woman in body armor march up. And I was just seeing videos of these online the other day. And they'll march over and go, let me see your ID. Let me see the fishing licenses. And I'm getting to the point where I'm going to go, talk to me like I'm a human being. There's only so much I can take from you. It's just, it's like these crazy people all on power trips to get in our business and run our lives. And if you look at all these regulations and stuff, there's not even a law most of the time. When it comes to, to, to a, a rabbit you use, you know, and, and then all the regulations for farming that are written by Big Agro that they're exempt from on record to shut down your business. And it would take an hour to go over all the evidence of that, but Tyson Chicken pioneered that. Walmart has pioneered that. And they want to make it impossible for the little guy. And these agents only mess with little guys. I've seen it. All these bureaucrats, they are told, you get those little guys and you shut them down. And uh, what do you make now of them? See, because now that you spoke out, it caused a furor. And now, a week after you speak out, boom, they say they're holding off on disaster plan requirements for animal exhibitors. Uh, absolutely amazing. What's your take on that, Marty the Magician? Well, you know what? There's a, a new sheriff in town, and it's called social media. And thanks to the support of people like you and others, the story went viral, and and uh, I think it's created a huge embarrassment for them. And and so now the law that took seven years to write is now going to be reviewed, and who knows how long that review is going to take and what will ultimately happen. But but uh, I'm just pleased that you know sometimes we th the little guy thinks that we have no voice, but luckily. The way thing the world works nowadays with the internet, maybe we still do have a voice. Well, I want to know why somebody shows up with a badge, makes a big scene. If I was the librarian, it's like it's over your rabbit not having a license. Well, that's un-American to make you do something like that and, and act rude, even if yeah. it was reasonable. Uh, you know, I wouldn't send an email out. Don't work with Marty. I mean, it's the same deal when the system. I mean, it's like Amish. They'll they'll for a year move in next door to him, spend a million and a half bucks in one case to show them undercover, getting them to sell the neighbor milk. They didn't want to sell them milk. It wasn't even illegal to then have them go, now I'm going to sell, I'm going to give this to my cousin across state lines. The Amish didn't know what that meant. So they could SWAT team them to create the illusion that the Amish were bad to then sell the idea that Amish are criminals because the USDA wanted to start harassing Amish. I mean, how would you get the cops to act like that and put on a magic show of their own? I mean, I mean, as an entertainer, do you see what I'm saying? They're putting on a show as well to act like you're bad. And why did people buy into that? Yeah, yes. Luckily, uh, luckily, uh, my reputation is such that I was able to nip that in the bud and, and turn things around. But I tell you, when it comes to these USDA inspectors, you just can't reason with them at all. I mean, when she, when she threw that badge in my face, I just kind of stammered and said, well, I I can see if I was a guy with four white tigers, I might need a permit or something. And she waved her finger in my face and said, you're no different than they are. And I said, one three-pound rabbit is no different than four tigers. By the way, I've read, no, by the, way, I've read the like law. I've read the law. That's a law on zoos, and it's on the transport. And how they got it passed was big animals like tigers. You're, have, have lawyers told you, because from when I looked at it, I, I'm no lawyer, but I looked at it, that your rabbit's really exempt? Uh, according to the USDA, my rabbit is not exempt. It's funny, the rule book has a picture of an orca whale, a lion, a tiger, a bear, a dog, a cat, a hamster, and a rabbit. And those all have the same exact license. And uh, I think what's happened is they've, they've hired extra inspectors. I, my inspectors told me they've hired more inspectors, and I believe they don't have enough work to do, so they've dropped down to lower-level people like me.
Well, they're not allowed to go after the big guys. Tyson Chicken, I remember it was in the Associated Press back in 97, would have thousands of violations at one facility and not get in trouble. A smaller plant would have one, and they'd shut them down and arrest them. Mm -hmm. And you know why? Tyson, Tyson Chicken ran Clinton. That's right. Unbelievable. Well, it's time to only support mom and pops whenever you can. It's time to go eat local. It's always better anyways. Go to the farmer's market, support the local magician, get back to building an economy for everybody. Uh, and uh, Marty, I hope folks up there in Missouri uh, will hire you out. They go to martythemagician.com. And who knows, if you're ever coming down Texas way, maybe I should, uh, when my kids are having a birthday party or something, get you down to get you down here to uh, do a magic show for us. Love to. Yeah, Austin's a great town. I love Austin. Folks can also call you toll free, can't they? I see it on the website if yeah. they want to. How many states do you go to? I guess if they pay for your plane ticket and stuff, you'll go anywhere. That's right. We'll go anywhere. I've, I've gone as far as New Zealand and Singapore even, but primarily in the, in the U.S., but we'll go anywhere. How dare you? Oh, man, you're so bad. I, uh, wow. Well, I kind of want to apologize to the listeners for talking to such a hardened, evil person like Marty the Magician. Marty Hahn, God bless you. We appreciate you, sir. Thanks for speaking out. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Thanks again. Thank, thank you, sir. He spoke out and won. Others speak out and get gang raped by the government. What are you going to do? Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.